So I feel like I haven't talked about my shop reopen much because I am going to do a bit of a rebranding. I didn't expect to talk about it this early, but this package kind of warrants it, I think. Essentially, I want my shop to exist not outside of me, but I don't want it to be under the same name Annika's Leaf because I want to establish it as its own entity. That way I could sort of separate my work on YouTube as an individual from my shop and its product. Of course, I'm still doing all of my shop myself, but I think it's a nice idea to have that sort of separation between my two jobs, basically. <laughs> Mentally, I think that allows for me to give enough time to both if I see them as two separate things, as opposed to just having it be one big combination of everything that I'm doing. So for that, I wanted to create a new logo and new design, my whole rebranding for this big launch. So that's why it's taking so long in addition to having a bunch of new products that I'm designing as well. I did think that I was gonna get it open at the beginning of February for Valentine's Day and all that, but realistically, I don't think that's possible. I'm aiming for the end of February slash the beginning of March because I don't want to rush it and have it just not be up to my own standards. So I actually created my own custom fabric labels so I can sew on to scrunchies and other future products perhaps. My new shop name is going to be called On Studio. On as in Annika. It's not spelled the same but that's actually how you pronounce it because growing up I've always had even to this day, I always have people mispronouncing my name or not knowing how to say it. Like, aww. <laughs> the fabric label looks like this. On one side, it has my bear with the heart cheek, of course. And then if you fold it in half, on the other side, it has on on it.
if you've been watching my videos for any period of time really, you probably know how I eat Panera bagels almost every freaking week of the year. The Panera bread by my old apartment would give me these tiny bagels. They were small every single time I ordered from them. And I guess it must just be the baker because back home in Maryland where I previously got hooked on Panera bagels, they were like, you know, a standard size. So now that I've moved, I'm going to a new Panera bread and they have regular sized bagels. I'm finally getting my money's worth. This is the last one I have from my old batch in my old place. Just compare these sizes.